In this video, I am going to break down six real-life use cases of GPT-4 to help you understand how to use this technology in your life and business. GPT-4 has been released. There are many reviews on the new features, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time covering that. Instead, I'd like to focus on the use cases, because my goal is not only to be excited about the technology, but actually to use it. Currently, you have to pay $20 per month to use GPT-4. But make sure to stick around until the end, because I'm going to show you how you can use it for free. GPT-4's primary advantage is the ability to handle more complex tasks. It has eight times higher word limit, it understands more languages, it provides faster answers with improved accuracy, and the effect of this is clearly visible in the exam results. As for some of the biggest new features, it handles now text and images which makes it multimodal AI. And GPT-4 can build websites from just an image. During the GPT-4 developer livestream, OpenAI demonstrated the platform's ability to take a scribble diagram of a website and convert it into a completely functional site that not only ran JavaScript, but also generated more content to fill the site. This is definitely one of the most hyped new GPT-4 features. And you know, it, it can handle uh, some legal matters now, like your taxes, or it can explain some jokes you don't get, and much, much more. Now, let's answer the question, what can I do with GPT-4? Let's look at the example of Stripe usage of GPT-4. It is now utilizing GPT-4 features to scan websites to learn how businesses use their platform in order to tailor its support to their needs. Using GPT-4, Stripe can monitor forums like Discord uh, for signs of criminal activity and remove them as quickly as possible. Now, Stripe is a big company. They have resources, they can implement all the GPT-4 features by themselves. But there are other companies which are not capable to do it by themselves. So you can sell them this kind of service. And this is what Defog AI does. They provide ChatGPT for a company's data. And you can use it for external support of your users or in-app data analysis. You can ask questions like, who were the top merchants I spent money with, excluding salary? And it will provide you with a very specific breakdown. The second one, use it to prepare for exams, job interviews, or fundraising interviews. Ask GPT-4 to act as an employer, specify which kind of job you are applying for and ask it to provide you with 10 related questions. Then ask GPT-4 to give you feedback on your answers and how you could improve them. And the same workflow can be used for exam preparations or fundraising interviews. Next one. Use it to handle basic legal matters instead of hiring a lawyer. By leveraging GPT-4, a company called Do Not Pay has created a simple lawsuit generator that can prosecute robocallers and spammers with a single click. This is also a great business idea. Another use case is to get help with your parental responsibilities. You can use it to explain difficult, various concepts to a 5-year-old, 12-year-old, or whatever you need. Or again, business use case. Milo app uses GPT-4 to facilitate the logistics of running a family, such as sending reminders, scheduling events, and you know, creating birthday invitations. Now, this is one of my favorites. You can use AI to learn a new language. With the help of GPT-4, Duolingo Max will include two AI-powered features, roleplay and explain my answer. I really like roleplay. Because, you know, I've been looking for this solution, like, for years. Every time I learn a new language, I need speaking practice. And until now, I could not find an AI solution to actually maintain a conversation with. So this should be a game changer for this niche. And finally, you can develop a Chrome extension without any coding expertise. Inform GPT-4 of your absence of programming skills and request step-by-step -step guidance to create your extension. Then make sure you continue asking it for support as you construct your extension. Depends on the complexity of your task, but in the majority of cases, GPT-4 should handle it. Okay, at the beginning of this video, I promised you to share some ways of using GPT-4 free of charge. The first one is using a chatbot by Quora. It is called Poe.com. It is, in fact, an extremely limited option because you have only one free message per day with GPT-4 
if you are an unpaid user. The second option is much more flexible. After the introduction of GPT-4, Microsoft announced that this AI is already used in the Bing AI chatbot. So all you need to do is just go to bing.com, ask for an access and sign up. I received it instantly, got Microsoft Edge and GPT-4 within Bing chatbot was accessible for free with no limits. All right, guys, so the point of this video was to realize that we can use GPT-4 not only to correct emails or, you know, explain jokes, we can actually utilize it to build sufficient businesses. And I am going to dive into it much deeper in my next videos, so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.